While the astronomers argued, the rest of planet Earth was carrying on as normal. Safe in the knowledge the solar system was just as they had learnt at school. There were nine planets, with Pluto the furthest from the Sun. Even Mike Brown's mammoth sky search hadn't turned up anything bigger than Pluto. Every morning, the telescope would still send him emails about moving objects, but they all turned out to be planes or birds or run-of-the-mill asteroids. Or at least they did, until January the 5th, 2005. The first thing that I thought of when I first got to this picture is, am I looking at the right data? And I realized this is the right data. When he found it, he was flabbergasted. and He sent email to us right away. New bright object, please sit down and take a deep breath. Mike tends to embellish things when it's more exciting. So either, you know, have, take a seat. I have not told anyone except for you guys. Well, and my wife. He found something that at first glance from one night's observation showed it to be very distant and yet very bright. And that combination tells you that you found something extraordinary right away. I think we should keep this the biggest secret we've ever had in our lives. Bigger than the fact that my wife is pregnant, which I hardly told anyone. They didn't want to tell anyone yet, because this object was too weird to be believed. It was in the wrong place, miles from where all the other planets lived, 45 degrees from the normal plane of the solar system they had to be sure what they'd seen was real. What we do is we go back and look at uh, archives of data. And I, you know, I email Mike and I say, hey, look, this is the, the newest orbit. And then Mike takes a look at, at that. And he's looking, I'm looking, and, and David Rabinowitz is looking. He told me where it was, where it should have been earlier. Went back and we found it right away. And at that point, we knew it was real. And eventually, we can trace it back 20 years. And, you know, I think it, it's, it's pretty interesting that, you know, although we were the first ones to discover the object, um, many people from many different telescopes all around the world have been taking pictures of this object and not realizing that it was there. No one else had realized the significance of this tiny dot. Only Mike and his team had looked at it more closely and realized it was moving. They had found a truly extraordinary object in the far reaches of our solar system. It's three times further from the sun than Pluto. It's a frozen body covered in solid natural gas. Its winter lasts hundreds of years. And 2003 UB313 is definitely bigger than Pluto. But is it a planet? The logically consistent thing would be to either have 2003 UB313 a planet and Pluto be a planet, or have neither be a planet. I hope we find plenty of objects bigger than Pluto. If they're made of ice and they're out there beyond Neptune, they are Kuiper Belt objects. Get over it. <laughs>